So Dustin, last week there was a video on the Golf Channel of a guy doing an impersonation of a bunch of golfers, yourself included. Just curious if you've seen it and your thoughts on the impression of you. Um, I have seen it. I thought it. I thought he did a pretty good job. Corner Chris me. McKee, Sportsnet Canada. Um, you guys were in a dogfight yesterday at halftime, and you came out in a completely different gear. What was the message to your guys at halftime? And they obviously seemed to respond to it. You know, for a good story, I'd love to tell you I went in there and ripped them, and you know they all came out fired up. But what do you remember about the first time you came to Canada, Toronto, um, and maybe speak on like the growth of basketball? Has surprised you in any way since then? Well, the first time I came here was to speak for a Duke event, one of the beautiful museums here. Bill, you've been up in Canada for a week now. Uh, talk about your experience just being in Canada and. Enjoying St. Catharines and well, I, 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 we've enjoyed St. Catharines. Well, the first game in a Duke uniform. How long? Like, how long does it take you to get comfortable with that? Um, I'm gonna say like the after like the first five minutes. 50 to go in the first quarter. There's Samuel with the steal. Get your phones out. Tyree Samuel posterizes Alex Nawaga. Come on now. And there's a steal. Now after that big three, Brzezikis with the windmill, tomahawk dunk, 51-26, Orangeville prep cruising. Dort looking for space, spots up for three, nothing but net, Lugens Dort. Oh, Alicia Jack, great set from Genovi. And Jack puts that away. Well, the overwhelming response, 85 to 90 percent, is people saying, I'm not watching this. Although the beauty of the Internet is that's the place where people can be angry without repercussions. And so I guarantee the people that are hating on it the most, they're the ones that are going to watch it. Physically, he looks the part. He's got all the tools. He's a two-handed player. He's explosive, athletic. He's all of it. Now, the greatest ever... Uh, you know, let's pump the brakes on that. But to me, there is no doubt he will be the number one pick in next year's NBA draft.